And here we are in Ostrada. So it was just a, well, about 45 minute drive from Nijitsa to, uh, which is on the southern area of the Missouri Lake District, Missouri Lake District, and also a uh, southern outpost of the Jutonic Nights. And we can see here another example. And I said before that, I mean, it's curious as you look at this, I said before that the Teutonic Knights uh, were charged with building hospitals rather than fortresses. This looks more like a hospital in a sense. And I'm just wondering if they had some sense that they were building, uh, they would build a sort of fortified hospital they could use, uh, an ostensible hospital they could use as a fortress if they needed to. Because it's very solid, but yet it, it doesn't look like the uh, fortress at Nijitsa does it. Where we are now, we're on the uh, 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 Derveza, Derveza River, and uh, that's the Derveza Lake, which is in Ostroda. And the Derveza River comes, uh, flows from the right-hand side of the Viswa. So the Viswa is that direction, and it comes to us over here. The lake, uh, the town's quite substantial lake is over here. And uh, the thing to remember is this is the district of lakes. And this is just one uh, of the lakes on the fringe of the Missouri, uh, Varmia and Missouri uh, Lake District. Um, there are many, many lakes. And lakes are very important to, to poles. They, they use them for sailing. They use them for all kinds of uh, boating recreation. and. Uh, uh, the lake is a, at least as important as the sea is here. And that may be because the Baltic is so cold <laughs> most of the time that it's more pleasurable to uh, have fun in lakes. Uh, I must ask some friends about that. At least that's the way I look at it. Um, so behind me, you see this is a, a, substantially, uh, a substantial building. And it's been, uh, of course, restored with nice grants from the European Union. At any rate, this is the town of Ostrada. It's a very nice town. It's got the Prussian uh, German uh, architecture. Much of it is still intact, and uh, it's been beautifully uh, kept up and, and, and in places restored. So this is a really, really nice little town with a beautiful lake attached and not a bad castle. Well, just come with me, and we'll go inside and, and take a look in the courtyard. Don't be surprised if on your trip to Gdansk you decide that it looks a lot like Amsterdam. They are old time sister cities as part of the Hanseatic League. That's the great trading league of several hundred years ago. Those tall pointed houses mark the architecture of the time. Gdansk today is a beautiful thing to see. The colorful facades of the long market tempt a stroll. This Polish port city on the Baltic has been known for its amber trade for a thousand years. There is much to say and do in Gdansk, but for the purposes of this uh, series of episodes, we are only going to be looking at the old town and taking a stroll around and talking with a couple of friends. This is the first of many subsequent visits to Gdansk. Like Warsaw, it is full of riches and shares a place on the coast with its two sister cities, Sopot and Gdynia home to some of the most momentous events of the 20th century. Gdansk was the place where World War II started, and it was also the place where the Solidarity Movement rose and became prominent enough in the world and in Poland to change the nature of society in Europe. It's a great city, and without further delay, let's go walk about. Thanks for watching Poland Daily. My name is Will Richardson, and we appreciate it. Like us on Facebook, like us on YouTube, and please subscribe.
And now, let's take a walk around Gdansk. Well, this is magnificent, isn't it? This is the interior of the courtyard of this castle or this hospital, this fortress, whatever it was. Uh, it probably had mixed uses, but it is marvelously preserved. And you can see the clean lines uh, of, uh, of its design. Here we can see where the brick has been remade. The older brick at the top, and this whole arch has been rebuilt in here and lovingly restored. And it's Gothic, of course, you can tell by the arch with the point in the top that it's Gothic. So as we go around, look at this doorway. They weren't all very tall, were they? Look at this. You could get through, but uh, you had to be careful not to bump your head if you were taller uh, than me. And in here, this is just a, a public library now and a cultural center for the town. I don't think this wagon is very Teutonic, but it gives a nice, <laughs> a nice flavor, I suppose. Yeah. I don't know who this fine lady is, but uh, this uh, obviously uh, has some kind of significance, maybe a, a goddess of the water or something like that. And here at any rate, this is mostly just a library. Um, not just a library, but that's what it is. Uh, and uh, no doubt contains uh, plenty of volumes on the history locally and whatever else is, uh, you would, might find in a library. Um, coat of arms of Ostrada here. Ostruda, I should say. It's Ostruda. And that's it. So a nice walk around the courtyard of a Teutonic castle here in Ostruda. Isn't that nice? Very pleasant indeed. Okay, let's go now and have a look. Uh, let's have a look at the lake. There's a very nice lake across the street. <laughs> 